What arcade or pinball machine from the past did you spend the most quarters? MBC2 and Crazy Taxi for me. Um, for me, I would say I dumped... For a pinball machine, Jurassic Park. Um, it came... It wasn't the first pinball machine I played. And it's one of my favorites, but it's not my favorite. But it was... It was the pinball machine where I finally realized that there was a game to be playing with pinball. Mm -hmm. There were there were rules, there were things you could do, and that was really exciting to me. So I just kept dumping money into it to see what modes I could find and how far I could get. Uh, it it that it was the, it was the machine that really kind of gave me the love of pinball I have. Um, as far as like quarters, uh, it's kind of embarrassing just because I was awful at it, but we used to cross the border into Canada all the time when I lived in Buffalo. I dumped tons of money on Dance Dance Revolution third mix. My buddies and I were, were that group that went up there like every weekend and we would just spend I spent been, 10, 20 bucks. How have I not seen you play play DDR at MacFest and not tape it? Well, well, how Because I, I don't, I haven't played DDR in like please, 8 years. Please, for the love of God, I will spend Give you money to record that. <laughs> I haven't played in like eight years, but I used to love it. It was fun. What about you? Um, from the that's a that's a that's a toughie. I I used to go to we used to ride our bikes from Lavalette, New Jersey to Point Pleasant, which is geez, when I was small. That was that was incredibly tough to do because I wasn't in shape to, to ride that, and my cousin would always be ahead of me. But well, we would play pinball and arcade machines. And it was the only. Uh, season Heights didn't have it, but the Star Wars pinball, the the, the good one, East? yeah, the, the the first one. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Very fun. And I I would play it for hours. Now in terms of quarters, they always had the uh, free game set kind of low. I think it started at like only thirty five million or or something. So I you usually get two or three free games before having to spend another quarter. So I would be there literally for two hours and maybe spend a dollar only. Playing, it was great. It was only you know it was it was fantastic. Playing pinball was awesome in the nineties because it was. There were so dying. many of them it, too. Well, there was tons of them, but it was dying. Arcades had them because they felt like so, so. So the way they got you to play was it was almost always a quarter a pop. They always had great, you know, put a dollar and get five game oh, deals, and your free games were very easy to well, achieve. Well, they weren't dying on the boardwalk. They weren't. Uh, there, there were so many arcades in the boardwalk still. Well, Port Pleasant only had a few. No, I'm just saying, anyway. in an arcade, pinball was no longer the major attraction. Oh, yeah, okay, so saying. to draw people to pinball, they made the free so, games easier to get. Okay. So I don't know. I I usually didn't spend in terms of machines though, arcade machines. I didn't usually spend money on one machine. I would actually sample everything. So the one uh, arcade that I would always go to was Casino Pier. If you're familiar with Seaside Heights, that's one of the bigger ones. It also has the, the very old uh, carousel there. Um, so they I would play Lucky and Wild. Remember that one? I would play uh, one of my favorite arcade games that no one ever talks about. Um, Sly Spy. Love that game. Um, and then I would put a dollar into the Dirty Harry pinball machine, which I love that they had there. Oh, Dirty Harry is awesome with the, 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 the oh Magnum. God, yeah. yeah. I, I, I wouldn't mind buying that one, actually. That one's gone uh, up in price a lot. They all have, because everyone's hoarding fucking pinball machines for somehow. Where do they have the room for that? I barely have room for games. <laughs> and whole, how do you hoard 35 <laughs> pinball machines? What do you own? A mansion? Anyway. Um, so I would I would try to spread the money around, spread the love around. I I, I remember playing Soul Calibur. Uh, Casino Pier had the Soul Calibur on the big screen, you know, like the that, Caliber or Edge. It's Caliber. Uh, they had we're talking yeah mid nineties. They had it on the big mid nineties would be Edge. Whatever. I remember playing both then, but I would play that for a few times and, and win a few and lose it. And Killer Instinct, you you play a few. So that's why I like to like to, I like to spread the love. A Sly Spy, I always like playing Sly Spy and beating that. I, That's I, gonna make video game years. Whenever that came out, ninety two. I've never even heard of that. You never heard of Sl Sly Spy? No, I, I haven't. Really? Data East, different play modes. You know, check it out. It's basically a rip off of, of James Bond. You're on a motorcycle one. You're going underwater. It's like a little thirteen kind of, kind right. of, but not really. I right. will look into it. Sly Spy. Sly Spy. <laughs> All right. well, at least you heard of Lucky and Wild. If you didn't hear Lucky and no, Wild, I you would have lost I, all crit. I used to play Lucky and Wild all the time. I loved that game. I always thought that it should be 50 cents for the one and a quarter for the one person to shooting. It was, uh, I, I think it was my buddy Lincoln pointed out, uh, it was available on Craigslist recently. What? Yeah. And he was, oh, I, th I think it was Lincoln. Uh, cause he was like, I don't know. He's like, I want this. He's like, but I can't. How do I? We're fitting that in your living room. How do I justify? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna squeeze that into your front door, Lucky and Wild. Yeah. 